for a full seven years from 1524 until 1530 or 1531. And the reader can imagine for himself the sheet numbers involved, the sheer numbers involved. Hmm. Wow. Okay, otra vez lo que leo él para decirle en español. Él dice que cuando vinieron los españoles atacándolos aquí en los, en los estados de Centroamérica, Suramérica, Norteamérica, nosotros lo que hicimos es abrimos hoyos en la tierra y lo cubrimos con zacate, pero antes de cubrirlo les pusimos uh, pink, pike, spikes. Spikes. spikes, spikes, para que cuando los españoles caminaron ahí se cayeran y se murieran, para que los dejaran en paz. Pero de nada sirvió, porque si se murió un español, agarraban a todo el pueblo y los metían uno por uno ahí con los, con los niños uh -huh. que ni caminaban, que todavía estaban en leche de, de la mamá. Pero los tiraban junto con la mamá y la criatura ahí en, el, en los hoyos. No, no, no tenía nada de remorso. Nada. Y también cuando, y, y así como se hace uno, mi hermano en, en Yucatán, cuando primero ellos miraron a Yucatán, que era, era como una, una isla de sueños, ¿me entienden? Que era, era bonito, la comida. Teníamos, ¿qué decía? Miel, va. Que, miel. Miel que, que en, oh, en, en abundancias, que ni se podía saber tanto que teníamos. Y ya cuando llegaron ellos, se terminaron así todo. Porque ellos no sabían cómo cuidarlo, sino que ellos solamente um, violaron la tierra de los otros, así como violaron las mujeres y como los mataron a los otros. Era, eso era nada para ellos. Ellos, ellos mismos dicen que, que es venganza como si los otros no éramos, que, que éramos personas de paz. ¿Cómo va a ser venganza en eso? Wow. So, I'm going to read this in Isaiah 33 and 1. Okay. Concerning what we just read, because we're very, we're, we're very peaceful people. You know, with humility, it says, Woe to thee that spoileth. That means destruction to the ones that spoileth for robbers. It says, And thou was not spoiled, thou was not robbed. Things will happen to us, but he says, Woe to those that do this evil act. It says, and deal it treacherously. It was very treacherous, as we, we have, you have seen if you were watching the shows, how we were just butchered. They just butchered people. And they dealt not treacherously with thee. That's why they said they're still shoulder to shoulder. Just really manfully dying, and women just taking their babies and dying with their babies right beside them or killing them before they was able to be, you know, killed by the Spaniards. It says, when thou shalt cease to spoil, when you shall cease to rob, thou shall be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, see, they shall deal treacherously with thee. So that's the prophecy of what's going to happen, you know, and it's like it happened, just like we just read how they were killing them and they made the holes and, you know, set up the spikes and was killing them. It's, it's like a chain reaction. You do something, they're going to do something back to you. It's going to happen. You can't just keep doing evil and think that the evil is not going to come back on you. That's what it said. When you think you're going to stop and everything is at peace, that's when certain destruction going to come. When they say peace, you get that. Say certain, then certain destruction comes upon them. That's what's going to happen because... You, everybody has to pay a judgment. Everybody has a judgment to pay. You do wrong, you got to pay for it. You know, there's no respect to persons but the Most High. He said, Hamas Yahweh Shai coming back to judge and make war. Okay. Aquí estamos leyendo ahorita, estamos hablando de uh, Isaías 33, 1. Dice, Ay de ti, el que saqueas y nunca fuiste saqueado, El que hace de saltar bien que nadie contra ti la hizo. Ok, so lo que está diciendo es que va a destruir, este es el Padre Nuestro, dice, va a destruir al que destruye uh -huh. y nadie ha destruido. Uh -huh. okay. Cuando acabares de saquear, serás tú saqueado. Uh -huh. Y el que saca a toda la gente de sus países, de sus casas, de su dinero, y dice, cuando acabes de sacar a toda la gente, yo te voy a sacar a ti. Uh -huh. Y cuando acabares, y cuando acabares de hacer desaltado, harás contra ti. Uh -huh. Y cuando nomás te pongas a dormir que estás, que estás acostumbrado, acostumbre con tus cosas, te va a venir a ti la venganza de Dios. Okay. Um, we keep on. All right. This is going on further with the Yucatan. It says, there was much honey in the land but there was no gold in this kingdom. Or if there had been at one time, it had all been taken away of its mind by the Spaniards who originally landed. 
However, the gold could be made of the bodies and the souls of these slaves. And the Spaniards assembled, assembled all the Indians they had allowed to survive and sent them away on many ships that came, attracted by the smell of slaves they were. They would be traded for wine and vinegar and pigs and clothing and for horses or for anything else needed by the tyrant and his fellow officers or his followers or what they demanded was necessary at any time. And the Spaniards were allowed to choose among 150 Indian maidens the ones they liked best. So for each tyrant each one of the Spaniard soldiers, they all got to pick 150 of our women to be just for them individually. And then we kill all the husbands and men. Okay, it says paying for each one of them with wine, oil, vinegar, pigs, and the same day for a comely boy chosen from among one or 200. At times they preferred boys. Oh, oh, wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Can I read this because we got to end right now. I want to okay. read this to go right along with this in Joel 3 and 3. Yes. It said, They have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot. <laughs> Beautiful. That's what we just read. That's what, he's, that's what he's bringing out in this book. And this, this historian bringing out in this book. That's on page 80 of The Devastation of the Indies by Bartholomew de las Casas. And this is what the Bible says. It says, and they have cast lots. They bid it for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Just what we just read. <laughs> it's all right here. Brothers and sisters, it's, it's the truth. And that's what we're going to deal with, the truth. And no matter how you look at it, it is the truth. And I hope you enjoyed this edition of Shield of Wisdom, and I hope you'll continue to tune in to further episodes of Shield of Wisdom. We're going to continue on this topic of the set part two of the devastation of the Ten Tribes. And I thank you, brothers, for being here. Thank you for All having me, brothers. Thank yes. you for having us. Thank you, my yes. brother. All right. Always. And if you like, you can reach me at Priest Dawam at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012, and call me at 562-426-3084, and I'm out. What's the truth have done for me, yeah? Taught me nationality. Brother, brother, can't you see? Brother, brother, can't you see? What's the truth have done for me, yeah? Taught me nationality. Brother, brother, can't you see? Brother, brother, can't you see? What's the truth have done for me, yeah?